Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Valheim. We're on episode 5. We're going to be fighting the Elder Boss today. Got his uh, young, as they call it, the Ancient Seeds. We're going to be throwing some of these guys in here. And summon this guy up. We're going to be taking him on. We got uh, fire arrows. Make sure those are equipped. I'm going to eat some of this food real quick. Make sure we're all ready to go. We got some of the boss music. Alright, let's take him out. Should be pretty easy. And with the fire arrows, yeah, he's going down pretty quick already. So it's just we got a new bow. We just have to dodge those guys. And after this guy, I think we're going to be building a new house. Because I know we have um, the, uh, the wood perk faster uh, cutting when you uh, fight this guy. After you beat him. Should have got a better rested buff because uh, it took a while to run all the way over here. Just gonna head back over here to this pillar. Oh, we're stuck on the roots. Ouch. Yeah, the stamina is not doing too good today. But once we can get to uh, this one, get a little stamina in the back, and then we can start shooting them. And just start uh, taking them around the pillars. I mean, it sucks is these roots get really close um, to each of the pillars, so we can't really use the pillars as cover. We have a skelly over here we'll take out real quick. Stamina again. Take this guy out. Should be able to hit him a few times. I hide behind this one. We charge a little bit of stam and we'll start fighting him. There's also a way you can uh, use campfires to uh, have him step on and that'll burn him as well. But that's alright, I wasn't worried about it. I fought him before, he's not too bad. I know the next boss I haven't fought yet, so uh, Motor I think he is. No, no, the Motor's a dragon, the uh, swamp guy, Biomass. I haven't fought him yet. So, uh, he's going to take a little bit of finessing. I think I'm going to grab, um... Gives me good stamina. 23, 23. I think we might go with this guy. Just because we need more stamina. What's he doing? Ouch. Painful. Let's uh, regain a little bit. Just juke him around this pillar. Might regain some stam. It's about halfway. We're doing pretty good so far. shots on him. Get away from these guys. We got no stamina left. 
Block that as much as we can. Get behind the pillar, grab some more stam. Kite him around here and then uh, you can't really do too much. And once these guys come in, you can just hide behind this pillar. And start firing away. This boss is a lot more about patience than it is uh, anything else. Kind of just have to hang out, wait for him to do his moves and uh, dodge them, and then just lay him up with arrows. Kind of just have to take your time as well with the uh, the stamina and stuff. Just be pretty precise with uh, the dodging as well. When he's uh, casting all this stuff. Who's he attacking? <laughs> Remember the first time I fought this guy, I had a lot of, uh, like, a gray dwarf spawner next to me, and just a lot of them attacking me constantly. Um, brutes and shamans and everything, and that was a pain in the ass. I, I almost died a few times. That was uh, that was before a lot of the, uh, these... Ooh, a lot of these updates even came out, though. Back with, like, uh... Right before Hearth and Home. Barely dodging that. I wasn't expecting to actually dodge it. That one hit me a little bit. It's alright. We can dodge the rest. Alright, while these spawn, I'll grab some stamina so then I can run over here. Dodge that. And hit him up with these last few shots. And he'll be dead. Juke him out around his own thing. Hey, look, there's a shaman right there. Pretty sure the last time like, the shaman, oh, I'm stuck right here. Last time the uh, the shaman that was fighting me um, was healing the boss. Wait, he's almost dead. Let's go. Ouch. Yeah, he just healed the boss. <laughs> awesome. A couple more hints, he'll be dead. Let's uh, wait for this one, and we'll charge up this one and finish him. This should be it. Nice, we got him. Kill this fucking shaman. Get out of here, bitch. Nice, boys, we got him. Then we got all his loot too, what's over here? Anything else? We desperately uh, need some stamina. Let's hang out by this fire. Take a little seat. Uh, what did we get? We got his trophy. That's it? Oh, we got the key for the swamp, that's right. Right, sweet. I don't remember if we um, found the swamp yet. But if not, we will. I also want to make a... Um, Oh, I don't need to make a teleporter over here. I get the resting. Oh, this skeleton's gonna come bother me. Hey, bud. Must be a dungeon up here. Um, I also found out a lot of different spots along the map. All those little uh, portal things up here. Um, I marked down those are basically just spawners that I found. So if we ever want to make a farm or... Uh, Get some XP, we can do that. Anything else over here? Anything good? A couple of gray doors. Shaman. Chest. Nice. We gotta find the trader now. 
I guess the next thing we need to find. I've looked around quite a bit, but I haven't found him. Is that it? Isn't there one more? There we go. There he is. Nice, right through the tree. Sweet. No, we didn't really use too many arrows. Or was that maybe like 40 or so? Thought we were going to use a lot more. Grab these deers while we're here. Oh, hit the tree. Oh, is this another skelly over there? Kind of just getting sidetracked, attacking everything. Oh, look, there's a spawn right there. Some carrot seeds. Oh, we never put down our uh, farm either. We'll have to do that now when we set up a new house. Oh, thanks, bud. Hey, little punk. Anybody else? There we go. They're all dead. Got a brute over there. I'm not worried about them. Still some berries over here I want to grab. Just one? It's weird. This brood out. Not really. They love to juke you. They love to die too. <laughs> Alright, let's hop into this place, grab whatever's in here. I hear some ghosts. Some more room. We don't want these stones. I don't want this tree stuff. everybody where's all the loot at anybody in here just mushrooms kind of sucks mushrooms look, look really uh cool with this uh texture pack though let me check all those some bones Nothing over here. All right, well, what about in here? Heard some ghosts. Oh, yeah. What's in here, boys? All right, we got all down. Anything up here? Nothing. Let's take a peek. Mushrooms. Bunch of bones and cores, nice, some amber. And this is just uh, the boss that we already fought. Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna head back to um, the, I'll probably stop at the shop first and then head back to the, what is it, like the shrine where you put all the statues down. So then we can put down the new, um, new trophy of the elder and then we can get his wood chopping buff so i think his just increases the speed of uh, wood chopping which is great especially when you need to farm a lot so we'll uh we'll do that and we'll meet you guys there all right we're coming up on the altar now we'll get this guy out stopped at the house to drop everything off put on the elder trophy nice faster wood cutting sweet uh, ability run and jump is improved, yeah. So that's with the ability to activate. Sweet, next one's gonna be um, the biomass guy. Sweet. So we got that. We'll head back to the shop. Um, get some stuff probably crafted. I don't know if there's anything to craft yet, but I do want to get ready to 
get some stuff to build a new house. So I'm probably going to do a lot of wood, cho wood uh, chopping, tree chopping, all that good stuff. And we'll meet you when we get all that set up. And we're going to look for a nice spot to build as well. So we'll be back. All right, we're finally back. We did quite an adventure. I'll show you the map right here. So we came from up here. We went loop the loop all over the place up here, down here a bit. Um, we made a boat to cross this. I uh, made a boat and found some barnacles, which is really good. We found the swamp finally, which is um, found Tad like right here, and then I could see the rest over here, so I just threw a marker down in the general vicinity. Um, and I came down here, looked all around, found the plains, which is pretty cool. It's kind of small, which sucks. Uh, I was going to build there, but it changed my mind. Uh, and then I came up here from went all the way back around. I should just made another boat, but um, I was able to cross these islands without the boat, which is really nice. And then I found some spawners, a dark forest, and I'm here. So basically, I got this little island here. Um, I made a teleporter to teleport home. Um, and I actually found some Draugr in this little village. So as soon as I saw this village, I knew this is where I wanted to go. So that's good because um, I was tired of running in circles. One thing that's kind of weird, though, is this uh, water difference. Because, like, this is the meadows. And I guess this... I'm not really sure. Yeah, so we have some Draugr over here. Let's see if I can take these guys out. I haven't fought these guys yet. I kind of just ran past them. And I was thinking about, like, redoing this village, too, which would be pretty cool. Okay, what are they doing in here? Here they come. Come on, bud. Okay, I guess he's breaking... Oh, I guess he's breaking down the door. That hurts. Oh, there goes the save. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we gotta get out of here, boys. This is not doing so good. These guys are a little bit too powerful. We'll just uh, head out here a little bit and uh, get some health. We'll take this guy out with the bow. Yeah, these guys are a lot stronger than I anticipated. Alright, so we got that guy. Got some entrails. We'll have to snipe the other guys because I really don't want to die. <laughs> that would suck. Let's just uh, head over here. Yeah, I had some of those freaking Death Seeders chasing me in the plains. Um, luckily, I kind of was able to run... Just close enough, just far enough past them that they didn't get me. I think, I found, I think there was a uh, goblin thing over there too. A troll, whatever they're called. I think they're goblins. Um, but luckily I was able to stay towards the uh, the border. What's this guy doing all the way over there? Can I snipe him? No, probably not. There he is. Gotcha, bitch. I think we got that guy down there. Let's get him a nice fire arrow. To his face. Ooh, nice. I one-tapped him. Because I was sneaking, probably. Let's uh, also stock up with a little bit more health. Because these guys uh, do some damage, so. What if I will be able to... What is that? An archer? That's an elite. Oh, shit. Do you have an archer in there? That's the only ones I'm worried about. The rest I could just outrun. Hmm. Wonder if I can get to a spot to like an advantage, like a height advantage or something. Oh, there's a spawner, that's cool. Here they come, boys. Well, that's neat. At least I have something to fight and keep uh keep me on my toes. We have uh, that, and I marked a few spawners up in the dark forest as well.
This isn't too bad. Just have to uh, move by the time they shoot. Grab a little bit of uh, stamina. Use trees as cover. Got him, boys. Look at this little guy. Bonk. Yeah, right, not too bad. Got a couple uh, guys. We could probably make a spawner out of them, I think. Uh, let's see what else we got in this area. Should probably close that door or wall it off or just kind of stay away from it for now. If I want to get working on a new base and we'll get get um, this land terraformed a little bit. Just kind of head past them, close this door. And once we go far enough away, they should leave us alone. Or at least we got a couple things from them. What do we get? Um, we got these entrails. Um, I was smelting some more copper and stuff. I went mining and stuff while I was uh, before I went adventuring just to get some extra gear, extra ore. Let's see, I'm gonna raise this ground a little bit. I don't want to raise it, I just want to level it. There we go. There we go. And I guess we'll start the uh, process of making everything the same. There's something over here. Oh, just some boars. bad. I mean, maybe raise this stuff up a bit too. Just so we don't have water coming in our house. I wonder if I could do it from here. Oh, that's just flattening it. Alright, I don't want to do that. I'm going to have to get rid of these trees as well for now. We'll replant them. You also want to capture some of those boars eventually. Oh, look at this guy over here. Wanted to come hang out. Come on, big boy. Get out of here. Alright, so that should, uh... I forgot how to feed these guys. I think you need to feed them bears or something. Or to tame them. But yeah, just just want to make this as level as we can. So I'm gonna probably put the house like right back here, and then have the rest for like uh, animals and a farm. Grab some of these stones.
we go. Not too bad. I don't know what that boar is doing over there. <laughs> so I think we'll make our uh, base right about here. We could put it on top of the rock. That would be pretty cool. I don't know what happens if I hit this rock. Oh, I see. Okay. It's just going to, like, chip away. Yeah, it chips away a lot. All right, so maybe we might just get rid of this rock. And we'll uh, build on some land instead. So I'm going to work on this a little bit, and we'll be back. All right, boys, it's been a little while. We got a, a new house going. We got a little farm going. We got lots of beehives, a little smithy area. Take you guys on a little tour. We got the crafting area. We're going to throw a couple more of these fermenters down. Um, we're going to throw a couple of these down as well. We need a chopping block and the tanning rack. Hopefully, we get enough room for all this. Actually, let's try put that there, and we will put the chopping block somewhere. Come on, maybe I'll put this one under the floor. I'm thinking, I don't, oh, it can be placed. Okay, we just need to find a better spot for it. There we go. Good enough. We'll uh, cover this floor up. There we go. Good enough for me. That's one, two, yep, three, all right. This one should have a bunch as well. All right, yeah, so we, uh, this roof is a little bit funny and the floor is a little bit funny, but I guess it works. Um, we got the uh, cauldron and the crafting station set up. We got some torches. We got double doors. Uh, this is the selling chest. Got a little spot right here to hang out and get rested. Level 9 comfort, so that's good. Uh, we have the chest set up here. And then we have upstairs with our portal and our bed. And we have a little out outlook here. We haven't really done too much with this yet. Um, the stability is not very great. So uh, we'll have to work on that. But not too bad so far. We got pretty much everything we needed. Uh, and then we got the smithy set up over here. Just stack everything up and it keeps cooking. Um, this is oh, this is farming stuff. We got a little bit of farm going. We got some carrots planted, and a bunch of beehives. Then we built this big wall and expanded the island a little bit because these guys would non-stop leave, not leave me alone, attacking me. Um, they still got a spawner over there, and uh, we fought a few hordes of uh, the swamp horde, I guess. I don't really know what you call it, but it's really annoying. Basically, uh, when they attack you. Um, on in the meadows they do the same thing in the forest uh, the, in the uh, swamp but it's a little bit more of a challenge let's make a little land bridge let's spread this out a little bit as well I still don't know what's wrong with the water I don't know if it's because this uh, land is considered something different or if it's just like messed up so don't know about that um, I also want to place I think I might place this workbench on the inside just because uh, those damn things keep attacking it. I wonder if I could just place it right here. Alright, I will place one of these guys. Also, I want to make a little dock right here. Be a little bit efficient. Oh, I wonder if I can make this into a uh, level. If I can open this up and it look like a stream, because I originally had it open, but then um, all the damn people kept coming in over here. So now that I have a wall, I wonder if they will still swim under it or if they will uh, just leave it alone. So we'll work on that after. Um, let me throw this workbench down. I also wonder if. Um, have animals or anything with this water because it gets really high it gets almost as high like a little bit off the house if any animals and stuff will get swept away that would kind of suck i guess we'll figure that out what about everything else how's the crafting look uh let's find a workbench for all right so that goes all the way over here 
And then we have that one, and then we should have one more down here. So we just have a very little spot right there that we have to put one. That's fine. We can do that real quick. We'll put a... Um, couple boards down. There we go. Now we should have pretty much full uh, range to build. So yeah, there's the base so far. I'm probably just going to work on this uh, little fishing spot a little bit more. And maybe we could build a, like a harbor too. That'd be pretty cool. I'd like to get some boats and stuff going. Especially considering I just used a lot of rafts to get around. And those things suck. So not too bad. We got the uh, everything cooking up. Pollute in the air, which is always fun. So uh, yeah, we got the boss killed today. We got a new base and house set up. Bunch of metal still cooking. So next thing we're going to be doing is heading into the swamp and getting some iron and then working on new tools and armor there. Um, because these guys are still giving me a hard time with uh, the amount of damage that they do. And especially the archers, those are a real pain in the ass. So we'll uh, get some stuff to take care of those guys and move on to the next boss. So hope you guys enjoyed, so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.